Hello there, Gemini, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today I'm doing a special reading. It is going to be good really for the next two weeks. This is a reading around the new moon in September, which occurs on Monday, September 6th. And it's a new moon in Virgo, which means that we are going to be trying to clean out some of the old clutter in our lives, whether that's people, uh, relationships, or situations, cleaning those out and allowing the new energies of a new path, a new relationship, a new career, uh, whatever new is on your path is going to start coming in as soon as you clear out this old energy. So we're going to take a look at the overall energies for the next two weeks around this new moon. And then we'll use the tarot to get some more details about any areas of resistance, obstacles, or advice that Spirit has for you. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay, Gemini, let's get into it. We're first going to take a look at the overall energies for these next two weeks around this new moon. You may already be starting to feel some of the energies um, with this new moon. You may <laughs> have like uh, feelings of wanting to clean out closets or, you know, clean out the garage or whatever. So let's see what we have coming on here. Treasure Island. Yes, it's like when you start cleaning out things you get to really enjoy the things that you have left or the people or the situations that you have left so it's a sense of coming into alignment with the treasures that are in your life when you clean out the things that are no longer serving you um, you get to truly enjoy you have more time and energy for those things that are really meant for you and a leg up this is you know something from the universe coming in giving you a little nudge perhaps um, it, perhaps there's a relationship or a situation or something that you own that just really needs to go and it's kind of like the universe is giving you a situation or a little nudge to go ahead and clean that thing out of your life so that this something new can come in and then go the distance yeah it's about finishing out something you know sometimes when we have a lot of clutter in our lives whether that's people or objects or situations we don't have the time and energy to finish the things that we really our hearts really desire to finish and so i really feel like there is a situation where once you start cleaning out and you have a little bit more time and energy you're going to have the energy to finish this out and this you know this could be taking a relationship you know to the next level it could be starting that business that you've really wanted to start it could be you know a creative project around the house anything that you have maybe been dreaming of or have started and haven't finished and then oh my goodness come to the edge this card has been coming up so much it's about taking that leap of faith into doing something that you really wanted to do but perhaps you know you didn't quite have the courage or you know, the motivation to do it, it could have something to do with a leg up. It could be, you know, a new relationship coming into your life where you're like, well, I wasn't thinking I wanted a new relationship, but somebody amazing comes along and you're like, okay, I'm going to go for it. Or it could be the same thing with a job or, you know, a project that you've been thinking about or maybe you weren't even thinking about it. And then all of a sudden it's on your path and you're really excited about it. Okay, so we're going to go to the tarot. We're going to take a look first at your present energy, then your area of resistance or an obstacle on your path, advice from spirit, and then finally the outcome if you take the advice. But Gemini, you have free will, so you can always choose to do what you think is best for you. So let's see what we have in your present energy ace of cups oh my gosh so this is like you know aces are be new beginnings uh a new beginning in love um and it's so interesting because i feel like you know with this card you know, all of this love, like you may be putting out so much love and energy to the universe 
And then, you know, there's this one special one right over here, right? Like you may actually have a lot of options in love or you may have a lot of people around you that love you or admire you. Of course you do, Gemini. <laughs> You're a Gemini. But there's like, there's somebody special. There's somebody special that either you have in mind or somebody that has you in mind. So really nice energy to start off with this new moon and then on the bottom, Ten of Pentacles. So this is possibly um, a new love coming in that's going to go the distance. You know, somebody that really wants commitment. Maybe, you know, not right on, not on the first date, but it's kind of like, yeah, they, they really have maybe what it takes to go the distance. Really nice. Okay, now... Your obstacle or area of resistance is wheel of fortune. The wheel is wanting to turn for you. Um, there's blessings coming in, blessings perhaps in love, or it could be in career or finances or other relationships, but it's almost kind of like you're resisting it. It's as if you, I'm getting the sense as if you feel like if the wheel turns, you're going to be leaving something behind. And it could be a person. Maybe you're feeling like there's no chance at a previous love that maybe you're separated from. And it's kind of like, well, if I allow the wheel to turn, then I can't go back to somebody or a situation that you've had in the past that you're maybe isn't in your life at this moment. But it's kind of like, oh, look at what you have coming in. Ace of Cups. Okay, so let's take a look at what your advice from spirit is. Six of Wands. You know, you're, you're going to have victory in this. Whatever this is. You know, for some of you, this could be starting a career or a business that you really have a lot of passion for and that you just really never had perhaps this the stars align <laughs> so that you can start it and it's kind of like you see this little opportunity coming in from the universe and it's kind of like okay I'm gonna go for it and it's like this really amazing feeling I'm getting this sense of you're gonna almost be giddy when this occurs whatever this is this ace of cups if it's a new relationship if it's a new business idea, if it's it's something that you're passionate about, though, because it's the Ace of Cups, it's something that is near and dear to your heart. And it could be that you haven't even been thinking about it. I feel like it pops up almost <laughs> out of the blue and you're just kind of like, oh, my goodness, I, I'm going to go for this, like really with a lot of excitement. And it's going to be very victorious, like. I don't think, it's almost like you don't even think twice about it. You're like, yes. Yeah, just an emphatic yes right from the beginning. And then we have the moon card. So this is, you don't know the whole path in front of you. And you're okay with it. You know, it's so interesting because this card has been popping up a lot too. You know, with the new moon, there is no light um, being reflected off the moon. There's no moon illumination, if you will. And so the path is really dark during a new moon. You kind of have to really use your intuition to guide your yourself during the new moon. But once we get to the full moon, which is in this card, once you get to the full moon, then it's kind of like the path is illuminated because the moonlight can, you know, shine down and you can see where you're going in the dark. So I feel like your intuition is really kind of guiding you. I think that's why you're kind of like not even taking a second thought to whatever this new thing coming in is. You're just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to go do it because you're so in tune to your intuition. You just know, you know, in your heart, it's going to be uh, victorious, like it's going to go well. And so you're not like scared at all, even though the path is dark and you don't know exactly where it's going. It's a really exciting feeling. And I think you, you know, Gemini, you love challenges. And I think that this coming across your path could be a little challenging 
but it's kind of like you know that you're ready for the challenge, whatever this is, and that you're going to see it to the end. Like you're not going to quit halfway. <laughs> you're going to see it all the way to the end. And, you know, you're using your intuition, but you also have like a lot of faith. You're surrendering to this journey. You're surrendering because you know that your angels and spirit guides are there to help you. Um, to intuitively know where to go on this path. Knight of Pentacles. This energy has been coming in, but possibly slow. Look at this. The star and the Ace of Wands. Like this fresh new star in following the your hopes and dreams. You know, it's kind of like your hope has come back alive after a time of maybe a lot of anxiety and not knowing what direction to go in. It's kind of like, yes, I, I just instantly know what I want to do and then I think for some of you this is leading you to a long-term relationship a happy home celebrating the four of wands is also the twin flame card but it's also you know the wedding card it is about a true soulmate with the hierophant there it is a long-term commitment wow and you know I'm not sure if right off the bat, <laughs> you are going to, um, to recognize that this is a long-term commitment, you, you know, you may be feeling, well, I'm going to just go with it and see where it goes. Um, but once you get into it, you realize just how much, look at, I picked this up, Queen of Cups on the bottom, very intuitive, very nurturing of yourself loving yourself, knowing your worth, knowing that, uh, knowing that no matter what, you're going to land on your feet. Yeah, Gemini, I just get the sense that you're just, you're kind of like feeling like the stars are aligned for you to go on this new path in whatever this is. So let's look at the Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, Eight of Wands, Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles on the bottom. You may feel a little overwhelmed. When this comes in, you are you may be kind of like, I don't know, what should I do? But I really feel like you take action, like you make the choice to go in this direction and you go very quickly. And there could be some conflict around you when you make this choice. A little drama. <laughs> this is the drama card. There could be a little drama, but I think you quickly leave it behind. You're like, no, I, it's like you intuitively know I have to do this. And, um, and then you move in that direction. And the drama goes away really quickly. You're kind of like, I don't have time for drama. <laughs> I'm going the distance. I have to get busy. I have to go do this. Okay, so let's see what this Wheel of Fortune is. This is your area of resistance. This is the obstacle on your path. You have Six of Wands, Emperor, Nine of Swords, Two of Cups on the bottom. I really feel like for a lot of you, this is a romantic connection. Um, you're kind of, I, I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, you feel like when you step onto this new path, you do have to leave something behind. And you're kind of wondering, can I replace that? I think what you have to leave behind is perhaps the hope that somebody will return or the hope that you can revive something that was in the past. And you know that when you step onto this new path, take this leap of faith into this new Ace of Cups, it's like you, you feel like you're shutting a door on something in the past. And it's like you're resisting shutting the door because you're not sure there's a window open. And it's like you don't really want to completely close that out, but you know you have to in order to step onto this new path. And, um, you know, this is really interesting because you have the Six of Wands and the Emperor here. It's, an, an, it's um, a feeling of being, you know, wanting to be very much in your own power, to being very victorious. You may feel like for some of you that you want to be, have victory over somebody else. Uh, however that means. And I think that, you know, that could be a little bit of this drama like a little bit of I'm going to go do this because I want to show you I can type of energy. 
And that might not be for all of you, but with this emperor here, I feel like for some of you, you want victory over this person. And the only way you can get victory over this person is to step into your own power and to go ahead and let the wheel turn. You know, step away from this person. And then you have the nine of swords. This is bringing you in anxiety. Like I feel like you really don't want to leave something behind. And, you know, with the two of cups on the bottom, it could be a past a love relationship. Yeah, you're moving away from the, a king of cups. You know, um, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it doesn't really need to be. You are leaving behind somebody that you may have thought at one time was, you know, your true uh, love, your soulmate. And look at this. You're looking at other options to find joy and happiness. Like this person, yes, here you go. This person caused you a lot of pain. And I think you've healed from the pain. But it's still, it's kind of like this lingering hope that maybe just one day <laughs> this person will come back. And you're kind of like, well, if I step onto this new path, they, they'll never come back, right? It's kind of like uh okay and i really think that you're gonna be kind of like yeah i'm stepping onto the new path and i'm leaving this i'm i'm going to go ahead and close this door because i think you get this sense that that's never going to work out like the person from the past is never going to work out like it's time to step onto a new path Okay, so let's see what the Six of Wands is. We have the High Priestess, the Five of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Hierophant. You know, I feel like some of you know that the person in the past has a lot of regret, regrets. You intuitively know that there is some regrets and that this person may return to apologize. But here you are, you're still wanting victory. You're wanting victory in your own life, in your own sense of um, love or career or business or whatever relationship or situation this is. And on the bottom, yeah, you have the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups. This was, you know, a situation that you thought was long term. You could have even maybe been married to this person. Yeah, they're going to try to come in and say that they want to balance this out, that they do want to go, go long term with you. But look at this. They want a new start with you, but you have the, the devil there. There's something toxic. I think you know that there's something toxic with this past relationship. And so you want to move on like this new person comes into your life. And I think it triggers the older person, the past love, to come back. Or maybe you get a new job offer and then your employer, who hasn't really been paying much attention to you or appreciating you, all of a sudden is like, oh no, wait a minute, Gemini, I really want you, I really need you. You know, it's kind of like you, you start this new love, um, new job, new career, new business, and then all of a sudden somebody or from the past or a situation from the past comes running back saying, oh no, wait a minute. And it's kind of like you have the option and it's like, which way are you going to go? And you're kind of like, I really think for a lot of you, you're going to go in the new direction. It's almost like you needed this in order to close out this old energy, if that makes sense. And, and I get a sense that the universe knows that you need this. Like you may just, even if this new doesn't last forever, um, and I don't have any indication that it won't, it's kind of like it just helps you to get started in a new direction. It gives you the confidence that you need to go the distance and do what's the best for you. Because I feel like, this person, this situation from the past wasn't the best for you. And you know that intuitively, logically, you know that. But you're just having a hard time letting it go. Because I think part of it is that you don't have something to replace it yet. And you're very quickly going to get a replacement. So it's a really nice energy. Okay, how about the moon card? You have the Five of Cups, the Hierophant, 
the devil. Four of Cups on the bottom. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, the, the Moon card is an indication that you're going on a path and you don't really know what's ahead. You know, but one thing you do know is that the past was very painful. And look at, she's kind of like turning her back, you know, she's turning her back on all of this. Once again, it could have been somebody you had a long-term commitment with, you could have been married to, thought you were going to marry. Very toxic relationship, perhaps codependent. This person could have been a narcissist because we do have the emperor card here. Could have been a narcissist, brought you a lot of pain, brought you a lot of pain. And you're kind of like turning your back on it. You don't know exactly what direction you're going in. You don't know exactly what this new love could be. Um, but you're okay with that because what you are doing is in this new moon energy, you're recognizing that this really was not best for you. Like I, I feel like a tower moment took that away from you, but you were like not sure. <laughs> and you're coming into this sense of yes. And now I'm really ready to start my new life. Really interesting. Okay, so let's go to your Cosmic Journey card. Yeah, I really think that this new moon is it's uh, it's going to be eye-opening for you. I feel like that. Like it, you're going to get clarity about the past and where you do want to go in the future. So your Cosmic Journey is listen. In stillness, you meet your true self. I love that. It's about not allowing the people around you to give you <laughs> a sense of how you should handle this situation. It's going within and asking yourself, you know, I think you're going to have a choice, the old and the new. And it's like listening, going within and asking yourself, I think your heartstrings are going to be tugging for this situation from the past, whether it's a person or a career or whatever. It's like you're going to have your heartstrings pulling in that way because it's familiar. And I think part of you misses it, but you realize that you're not the same person as you were when you were back then. And it's like, yeah, I can't go back. I can't. I, it's just not even an option anymore. I have to move forward. Okay, so here is your creativity oracle card. Preparation. Luck comes most often to the person and place where preparation, opportunity, and skill meet. And I think that this is so wonderful because, you know, this is like luck, a leg up. It's a situation um, that's going to come along that is giving you this opportunity to, you know, strut yourself, have a little luck in this situation. But it's only because you've done the preparation, you know, you've, um, t you've done the work that you've needed to put this uh, situation onto your path. And when it comes in, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm ready. I am seriously ready for this. It's kind of like I get the sense if this situation had come on your path six months ago, you would, uh, you would have like uh, had a lot of anxiety about it or you may have said no or come up with excuses why you shouldn't do it, right? And this time, when it comes around, you're just really ready for it. You're kind of like ready for something new because you put the time and energy into getting yourself into that position where you are ready. You are prepared. Okay, so here is your lover's oracle card, playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. And, you know, I really feel like in this situation, you are going to be playful. Like, I feel like this new person that comes in brings out the playful Gemini. <laughs> you are very playful, um, but brings out the playfulness side of you. You may have been kind of serious for some time, getting prepared, you know, healing from a situation in the past, kind of getting your finances maybe in order, you know, your career, getting things lined up because I think you realize if I get everything ready for some reason, I think you've been feeling if I get everything ready, then the perfect situation will land in my lap. It's almost like your intuition helped you to get to this point. And now you're kind of like, okay, I'm ready. 
and it's going to be a very playful type of energy. It really is. Oh, I love it. I really do. And even this a leg up is kind of playful, isn't it? With the baby kind of crawling on the mom. Um, it's just a really nice reading. Really good energy here. So Gemini, I do uh, wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. And if you have enjoyed this reading, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.